Hi, lovely people. I welcome you to Joe Roots Multimedia. And in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of a school management system. That is the school database management system that I've created using Excel. And in this video, we are going to see how the system works, the features of the system, and the it benefits to the teacher or to the headmaster or an individual or even a student who wants to learn more, who wants to know more about Excel and its uh, benefits. Now let's launch the system. So when you launch the system, the system will prompt you to enter a username and a password. So with that, that you know, you're not able to access the system. So let's enter our username and our password. Now successful. So we have entered the system. So this is how the system works. So we have these are tabs. This here, these four things here, or these five things here are tabs. This also is a tab. So it says with this tab, when you click on the tab, it allows you to hide and show the ribbons or the tabs. So you can click on it and so that the tabs will, will, will hide. Now let's continue with the system. So these are the systems. So let's enter. Let's go to add check, add or check student details. So we're going to add or check student details. So let's go straight to that portion. Now this is the uh, student details. So with the student details, we have the student name, the details, and what whatever. So this is a system. Uh, these are the students have already uh, entered. So while the system you have you are entering the names and the particular system the system also will be adding so let's that's the ms data will be adding behind the scene so with the system or with the initial entries i have entered four people so out of the four people you see that there are three females and one male so when you go to the ms data of the students you see that the, the male is here which is one then the uh female are three then two times four but if you look at the various classes you can see that the basic sick is having one male and one female then basic uh basic four it also have two males sum up to make the four males so whilst you are entering the details the calculation will be doing or will be going on behind the scene now the teacher's details is the teacher's details here so Digital details. You have the you have entered the chair details here. Then whilst you enter the chair details, it also will do the calculation here for you, which counts the male and female teachers in the school. Then you go to the MS data where you have this system here. So with this, you can just uh, uh, what you call it, just copy. Uh, print this screen you can just print the screen and send it to your ms uh, office or the ms in your in your district office if you are required to send your teachers details so this is the system so let's try and enter some some input okay let's go to the admission side so this also where you print the admission uh, receipts now let's go straight let's go to the uh the student details now we have these details so let's try to add a new student let's see we have a new admission so let's try to add. so you're going to click on add then the form will pop up so you enter the admission number so let's say the person admission number is five then the name is uh, Owusu Owusu uh, Bernard the person is Owusu Bernard okay let me put in, in caps Owusu Bernard then the class let's say the person is in class 3 then the person is a male the date of birth the month is uh, September then the day is 10th then the year is let's say 2000 let's say 5 then admission date the date you admitted you are admitting the child so let's say the month is uh, January then the day is second then the year is 2021 <coughs> sorry then the parent or the guardian name 
so let's say the person is the parent name is uh, Emmanuel Emmanuel Ogusu Ansa. Then the contacts of the parents. So let's say you just type a random number here. Then address is let's say Kumasi. <coughs> now here you're going to add the image of the chart. So let's say you, you take a photograph of the image, then it, it, the, the photograph of the chart, then you enter it. You you save it in your system, then you upload it here. So let's go to where I've saved some of the pictures pictures so that you upload it there okay so let's say this is the uh, the person i admitted this is the child admitted so just double click on it then the picture will be here then the next thing is to click on this tab that's the add tab you click on it then so that it has been added to the system so when you close the form you see that the system has updated itself now let's go to the ms data and see what happened there now previously we are having one male and three female but now you see we have uh, two males and three females making five and the updates at basic three has also been done here so that's how the system works so you can do the same thing for teachers so let's say the teacher you have this system for teachers so if you want to add the teachers if you just click on this side then the form will open for you enter the particular self the teacher now let's move forward now let's say for instance uh, I have a teacher's details here this is the teacher's details here and I want to uh, I want to I mean I want to update let's say the teacher has, has upgraded him or herself is now from a new rank from the old rank to a new rank so are going to update so let's say the first person which is us and is also the person you are going to update so we go to add that person serial number is one so i'm going to search for the serial number when you type here one then you click on the search so this is the particulars of also Ernest or Ernest also so let's try to update it so let's say now also Ernest is now holding diploma now he was holding diploma in education now he's holding a degree so his academic qualification will be degree then the diploma also will be uh, the professional will be degree in education now his rank has changed now he's now at ps that's principal superintendent so let's say the year of promotion can be changed from uh, 2016 to let's say 2020 then after that he's now married he, he, he was married so just leave it at that so if there's any other information that you need to change you can change it here then you click on updates so with the updates now you, when you go back you see that the system has updated uh nsousu's details so so where is nsousu so now nsousu is now holding the bachelor's degree and Bachelor's in education as a professional education and is now at rank of PS. So this is how the system works. So we can also delete the details from the system. So the same way, let's go to let's let's use the student details. Let's say we want to delete the last person that we just ended. So we go to add. Then the last person details. Or the last person's admission number is five so you search for five then you search so this is the details of nso now nso is no more in the school but we don't want to delete nso details but we want to make sure or we want to do this in such a way that he, uh, his details will be st still be with us but when it, when you are counting the number of people in the school you are counting the women who now will not be a man because he's no more in the school so this is what you're going to do you're going to update it by clicking on the class then you select not in school that means the person is no more in the school you click on it then you click on updates now after that let's go back to our system let's go back to our system and see what has happened 
now and it's a usu or usu bernard is not in school so let's check our miss data and see what happened now you see the, the information is there but the details have not been reduced to four which was initially four because and also is no more in the school so the moment and also resumes or come back or readmit him or herself then you go back to the system again you go to add then you search for and also details which is five then you change it to the new class that he is no now let's see it's in class five you change it to the class five then you update it so you go back <coughs> you go back to the system you see that the system has been updated system is updated. so let's go to student MS data and see now you see it's five <coughs> so this is how the system works now after the admission of new person you want to print the person's receipt for him or her so let's say you want to print number five that's the admission number five receipt so you, you search here you, you type the number here then you search so that the details will be here you just click on control p that's control sorry you just you can click on this this is the tab here you click you click on the print tab then you save your documents in pdf then after that you print it simple as that so this is how the system works so <coughs> we are having a training on this how to develop the system so if you are interested and you want to learn how to develop the system please please you call this number you call this number zero two four zero five one nine zero eight eight you can chat me on whatsapp you can chat me on uh, uh, sms or any other form of uh, uh, communication and i'll get in touch with you our training on this is starting on the 31st of this month of the 1st of may so if you're interested in learning this system this simple but interesting system you contact us and we are available for you now after this we also have another system where we use microsoft access so with the microsoft access it's also a bonus for those who register for this training so i believe you have enjoyed this video and i'll be uh, uh, expecting your call and i want you to see you in the training god bless you all and have a lovely day bye bye and my name is joe roots ultimate academy and I'm happy to be the ceo of the company thank you and god bless you bye bye